So this little video is going to be about what you can see on the screen there. E I N N Hi November the 9th 2018 0630Z. That doesn't mean anything to you, that's quite okay. Um might mean something to some of you. Maybe these headlines these couple of headlines should hopefully jog your memory. So the Guardian, Irish authorities investigate UFO sightings by commercial pilots. CNBC, UFO sightings by pilots are being investigated by Ireland's Aviation Authority. Sky News, UFO over Ireland, investigated after mid-air sightings. You can see from the date there, 13 for the 11th, 2018. So nearly a year ago. So I'm E I N N I N O V N O V is a reference to the air traffic control conversation with the aeroplanes and the archive of it, which I'll uh, get into in a bit. So we first um, we we'll play the radio messages, if you like, between air traffic control and uh, pilots of the planes that you saw headlined in those headlines just now. So let's just listen to this. It's subtitled, so I hope you can follow it. I've, um, obviously, I've left out a lot of the yeses and noes and rogers. So the main bit is what you need to see. And also on the live um, air traffic control feed, there can be anything up to a five minute gap in between talking on stuff before the actual information on this kicks in so it's actually a 30 minute section basically taking the bits you need to hear out taking all the gaps out etc <laughs> so it's about two minutes long now save you the time go ahead go ahead go ahead go ahead any um, military services up right now okay sir there's uh there's nothing showing on either primary or secondary Okay, it was moving so fast, in fact, we can no longer see it, but yes, thank you. 590. 505, thank you. Uh, along the side, you. Get to uh, come up on our left hand side and then rapidly veer to the north. Uh, you saw bright light and then it just disappeared at a very high speed. And um, Spirit is wondering, he didn't think it was a likely collision course, he's just wondering what that could have been. Meteor or another object making some kind of re entry. Appeared to be multiple objects following the same sort of trajectory, uh, but very bright from where we were. Okay, that's copy, Dan. Uh, is there a direction it was going in or anything? Adam 76 uh, also saw that in our uh, 11 o'clock position. Uh, two bright lights. Roger, that's copy, thank you. Glad it wasn't just me? No, uh, yeah, very interesting that one. Say again? Adam 76, I saw uh, two bright lights at 11 o'clock seem to. Um, back over to the right and then uh, climb away at, uh, at speed, at least from our perspective. Okay, we're passing that on there, thank you. Okay, just so you know that uh, other aircraft in the air have also reported the same thing, so we're going to have a look and see. The speed is astronomical, it's like Mark 2 or something. Roger, okay, thank you. Six months after that, Thought to myself, haven't really heard much about this. So on the 21st of May, I got in touch with the Irish Aviation Authority. Emailed David Curtin in the media centre, asking uh, if there was an investigation and where I could find information on that. To which he hasn't responded. So I thought I'd try Shannon Airport, you know, the ATC Shannon place. Also their media centre, asking very politely, very normally, if they could tell me if an investigation had taken, pl taken place and where I could find information on that. I did that on July the 4th. I received an automated reply to that, stating that the person that the email had to go to was out of the office till the 22nd of July. 
at least it's a confirmation that the email was received etc so I left it a while also including a little bit of time for um, the person to come back off come back into the office don't know if they're on vacation do we so I um, can't say that uh, so they're back into the office and on I gave them one month and a month later on August 21st sent another email to the person asking if they received my first email etc etc you know how this goes and um, I haven't received a response so Irish Aviation Authority and also Shannon Group who are either very rude or they're not very good at answering their emails are they? even if it's to say no nothing's happened or yes something's happened and we're not telling you <laughs> if you feel like writing to these people and asking them maybe you'll have better luck but either way they've clearly said they're going to look into it and either way but either way <laughs> they haven't responded when asked about that so you can make of that what you will you can do with it what you will as well see you next time that's a weather modification one next time just so you know <laughs> hey for all you weather modification people you can look forward to that one it won't be long <laughs>